Hello YouTube. Before I begin today's video, I just want to let you guys know two things. First, you're going to notice that everything's in a 9x16 format, just like this video, because I shot everything for TikTok. Now, one of these videos got taken down because of harassment and bullying, even though all I'm taking doing is pointing out an actual bully towards furries. Which brings me to my second point. Trigger warning for those of you that don't like simulated violence against furries. If you cannot handle this, I would recommend watching something else on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. For the rest of you, please enjoy my take against furry killer on TikTok. On today's episode of What the Fuck Did I Just See? Yeah, let me introduce to you our newest super fan. Oh look, would you even look at that? They even copied right down his old retired line. My videos are just jokes. <laughs> right, is this also your soft hide? Oh wow, you're gonna shoot someone in a demon furry costume. How original. <laughs> Kind of hard to take you serious, buddy, when you also do things like this. You're my friend. <laughs> you think I'm your friend? No. Let's rifle's my friend, and my friend will defend me. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but it's hard to take you serious when you don't even tag those two creators in your last videos there. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. What I think is hilarious is people like you are so butthurt over somebody's hobby that now you devote your time and energy to hating on them and making videos just like those. Hmm, yeah. And if your bio is true and you're not lying about it, and you are literally 15, then let me go ahead and give you some word of advice. Stop the bullshit. You are probably one of the most privileged kind of people in this day and age right now because you have so much time ahead that you could be taking doing stuff to set up for your future. Yet you want to squander it on hate videos like the three that I showed. Seriously, bullying furries is kind of like bullying people who read Twilight. It was ridiculous when people first started and it's ridiculous now. Oh, and funny enough, both groups aren't hurting anyone. Now, I'm not saying you can't make actual good, funny jokes about either group. It's just when you take and do stuff like that, yeah, you really need to rethink what's funny. But hey, I'm just some dude on the internet telling you what it's what. And if you don't want to take my advice, hey, that's all you, buddy. But just know, you're making an ass out of yourself in a spectacular fashion. Oh, and by the by... I've been on the internet long enough that I know just about every trick someone like you will pull. In fact, the only way that you will surprise me is if you do absolutely nothing. Bonus points is if you actually take my advice and do a 180. But hey, I won't hold my breath about it because I know you're probably not going to do it. That's how predictable you are. Right, so I got to talk about this guy again because a mutual of mine and some of you followers pointed out that he went on private and now he's back again. Yeah, except the one problem. He blocked me. Now I'll give Nobody Matters this, at least when people came after him and criticized him, he didn't block them. Hell, I had to block him because he was just saying so much dumb rhetoric and I wanted to try and sleep in peace for once. Anyways, let's start with the profile itself. If you hate me, then block me. Well, I see you follow your own rule. 15, yeah, I'm going to call bullshit. No, seriously, I'm calling bullshit on this because one of my followers pointed out he looks like a college student. Now, I would just say garbage in, garbage out, but this last line, I'm just doing this for fun. Bullshit, asshole. Just like the ones before you, we all know why you're taking and doing this. You want attention. For example, you made this hate video towards this TikToker. Oh gee, would you look at that? Nearly 66k followers compared to your what? Almost 4,000? Hang on, hang on. Let's see if there's a pattern. Oh yeah, you did one about Strong Bob. Huh, 56,000. Okay. Hey, I think everybody knows this one. 
Holy shit! Hmm, what about these two? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm starting to sense a trend here. So, uh, let's get our anti-Karen hats on, and let's think about this for a second. If you go to this guy's page, and you scroll through his videos, a lot of those ones that I showed you, guess what? You're not going to find them. Gee, I wonder why. Yet, you will see this one right here on the top right. And that's right, this little video between these two furs doing the South Park Terrence and Phillip bit. Then you got this douchebag who's going like, Wait, you two are gay? No, they're Siamese twins, dickhead. Oh, and I gotta love this line. I can't kill gay furries! What? Hey, SS Titanic douchebag, you do realize how many furries are LGBT of some sort, right? Oh, right, and when did they get to that part of, but we're not gay? He opens fires anyway. To put it simple, he's a lying douche, just like the first, and I'm sure he won't be the last.